says the music, Kara. Time now for better books. Whether you're looking for something to read by the pool or something to read to the kids, there are some great summer options. Lori Fazio from RJ Julia Booksellers is telling us about some of her favorites. I think, you know, in the winter you want to curl up with a good book, but at more time in the summer we're taking vacation. It's the time we really all want to say, what should we read? We have yes. a week off. Yeah. You can read outside or inside. or, or And we're starting with two serious we books. We are. We're going to start with, with serious and then we're going to move to fun. Okay. Um, so the first one I brought is um, called Three Women by Lisa Tadeo. Uh, an important book. This is nonfiction. Um, Lisa spent eight years with these three women. She started with a bunch of men and women and then narrowed it down to eight women um, for, or three women for eight years. And she follows them and it's about their, how they were formed from their earliest um, relationships, desire, um, Passion. Physical. Physical. Yes, oh, absolutely. So into it. And how it really makes us who we are. When I was reading, I had to keep reminding myself that these were real women that she was talking about and some of their stories. And who. Does who it read like fiction? I mean, it really does. And each chapter is a different. Um, a different woman, it's just phenomenal. Okay. So if you like those romantic beach reads, you might like this, except this is real. This is real. And so, okay. yeah, and it just, it brings it, it really just opens your eyes to how we're formed from our earliest. Yeah. Nickel Boys. Nickel Boys is Colson Whitehead, and Colson Whitehead is just one of the most brilliant writers that I've ever read. Um, this, he wrote a couple of years ago, The Underground Railroad. Yeah, um, that's this, right. This book is um, also based on a true story about a reform school down in Florida, and and it, it was for white boys and black boys, um, but it really became more of a prison and, you know, uh -huh. they're now finding, and you could find it all over the news, they're finding, you know, graves in the back and the abuse that went on. And But he makes, he has you read it, um, you understand the horrors without being horrified in his writing. So he, he puts a little softer tone on it, okay. which uh, soft is really a, a word that's kind of interesting to gift. use. Um, he's coming for an event with us, which we're thrilled oh, on Friday great. night, because he is one of the most brilliant writers that's fantastic. of our time. Wow, God bless. Mm -hmm. Very important book. And the next one, Montauk, as is in the Montauk near here? Yeah, so okay. let's have some fun. Yeah. Well, let's talk beach books now. So Montauk um, is a story that takes place in Montauk, and it's a, it takes place in the late 30s, and it's about this woman who's, um, they're going to Montauk for the summer. She thinks it's going to be a re, you know, rejuvenation for her and her husband. Well, lo and behold, her husband has to stay in New York City, and she goes out to Montauk, and she's out there with, you know, the prestigious women, and it's not really her cup of tea, so she gets into a little bit of her own world and maybe some trouble and oh, she dabbles uh, in the, uh, the, the risk she side. dabbles okay yeah. well there you go yes she does uh, mm, Lenny the Lobster one of my favorites oh goodness so no. Lenny the Lobster so this is a choose your own picture book which is so great so Lenny is invited to this dinner party and he's really excited and he brings flowers and he makes a cake and, and he gets ready and he walks in and everyone's really excited to see him and then he notices they're all wearing bibs with his picture on the oh, front no. and, and oh, no. he notices is there's a pot of boiling water and and so right then and there the bottom it says do you think Lenny should stay for dinner if so keep reading if not turn to page 22 and so you skip ahead and so does Lenny stay for dinner and what happens or does he not stay for dinner and then the dinner party has Chinese food so Ooh, okay. it's a really fun, fun book. book and so we're doing something fun also in the Madison store if you come in and you buy not just this book if you buy anything that has a lobster on it you're entered into a raffle to win a lobster roll from one of eight um, restaurants on that the shoreline. That is fantastic. Oh, so yeah. fun. So right. fun. Sea glass. So sea glass reminded me. I used to go spend you know time with my grandmother and grandfather at their beach house. And this is about a little boy who goes to spend time with his grandmother at her beach house for the summer, and he learns what sea glass is and how it's made yeah. and over time and um, and so then it, at the very end it fast forwards to him, and you know with with a child who finds something that maybe. He had something to do with during his time with his grandmother. Isn't okay. that cool? It's beautiful and it's just a nice story and right. it's really sweet. And finally, we have Chomp. So Chomp is a shark romp, and I figure with all the news going on about sharks everywhere, um, I needed to bring a book about sharks. And so this is a picture book, and it's very colorful, and it talks about all the different kinds of sharks and where they like to live and what temperature waters and what food they eat, et cetera, et cetera, and which ones are 
dangerous and not so scary yeah. and and it's just fun so oh, we have all fun kinds of fun summer books going time. on oh that's goodness. great it's great to see you Thank Laura. You so good much. to see you both Laura. all right you're going to find these books and many more at rj julia booksellers in madison the shop is on boston post road you can also check them out on online at rjjulia.com there's also uh at rj julia's wesleyan university you can go there uh, that one is on main street in middletown and the website is wesleyanrjjulia.com whatever one's closer for you Absolutely.